as crews work on pest control at Atlantic Terrace Apartments in Southeast. We're told housing inspectors conducted their annual check of the property to make sure managers receiving federal subsidies are living up to their commitment to provide safe and sanitary homes for these residents receiving a Section 8 voucher. Leaking, then the rats and mice, all the bugs, everything from that point to here is why I'm here. And here is a Maryland hotel. 69-year-old Deborah Burton did not want to show her face on camera, but the disabled woman was forced to leave her first floor apartment one week ago. The fire department evacuating her because of dangerous mold inside that led to a ceiling collapse. I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of living in the conditions I can't breathe. We contacted Wynn Residential. Managers say when they discovered a leak, they tried to make repairs, but couldn't get into that first floor apartment. The company is looking for an accessible unit for Burton, but in the meantime, has offered another apartment. Make this more transparent for tenants. This is part of that narrative about why people don't trust the housing. The concerns come as the D.C. Housing Authority Board of Commissioners meet for the first time after its scathing review from HUD inspectors. The audit not only criticized the poor condition of public housing units, but said the board itself is uninformed and not serving the residents who rely on public housing and vouchers. Then there are some other board members that have been there longer than anybody that are appointed by advocacy groups and are accountable to no one. Um, so I have some, I do have some concerns about that and I want everybody to have safe and affordable housing. So I take it on as uh, a, a challenge. A challenge not only for DCHA, but HUD as it continues to hold landlords accountable. Delia Gonsalves, W, USA 9. Now, I should point out that we did just hear back from HUD, and a spokesperson said they're working with managers at Atlantic Terrace Apartments on the residents' concerns. The statement goes on to say when deficiencies are not adequately addressed, HUD can pursue enforcement remedies, including civil money penalties, abatement, or essentially to stop giving these landlords money.